Opening up our last top three of the season is Fortaleza's Thiago Gallardo. And Wittin attempted the bicycle kick, there's the header, there's the goal! In a training ground set piece, the Tricolor exchanged passes in sensational form until Gallardo got the last touch and hit the net. In second comes Internacional's Mauricio. Palmeiras, Alemão, Mauricio, he lets it fly, golaço! The midfielder showed all his skills when he smashed the ball into the top corner. A beautiful goal at Beira Hill Stadium. No chance for the keeper, a fantastic effort. The box by Eric and he gets back. What a goal! But the best goal of the round came from Fernando Sobral. The defender tried to clear the corner, and the midfielder nailed an unbelievable first time shot from outside the area. He was just waiting for the ball, he comes and he finishes with perfection. For this piece of magic, Fernando Sobral gets the award of round 38. The best save of the round was from Atletico Paralienses Bento. In the home win over Botafogo, that secured a spot in the Libertadores for the Hurricanes, the goalkeeper made a stunning save to stop Adrielson. The Botafogo player appeared wide open inside the area, but Bento showed great reflexes to deny him. An amazing save from Bento. Atletico Paranaense's young striker showed superb control in the match against Botafogo. Vicino was the owner of the most incredible dribble of round 38. What a terrific move by Vicino. Let's Samba. It's time for the final team of the round of the season. Between the posts we've gone for Bento of Atletico Paranaense. At right back, Rudu Atletico Goianiense. The two central defenders are Vital Internacional, Alan Imperial of Cuiabá. At left back, Juninho Capixaba of Fortaleza. In midfield, Galopo San Paolo, Fernando Sobral, Sierra, Mauricio Internacional. On the right flank, Vargas of Atletico Mineiro. On the left, Victor Hockey, Atletico Paranaense. Our striker is Thiago Gallardo of Fortaleza. The man on the bench in this round is Juan Pablo Voivoda of Fortaleza. For the best player of the last round, we've gone for Inter's Mauricio. The midfielder led the team in a great victory over champions Palmeiras as the Colorado secured second place. Take a look at that. The 21-year-old opened the scoring with this great goal. Hitting the top corner. And then provided an assist for the second for Alemão. Spaces on the defense. Mauricio de center, Alemão! A great performance from the Interman. Congratulations, Mauricio. The final league table of 2022 looks like this. Palmeiras are worthy champions. Internacional, Fluminense, Corinthians, Flamengo made the group phase of the Libertadores. Atletico Mineiro and Fortaleza had the banana skin because they'll both have to qualify for the tournament proper. From São Paulo in 9th, all the way down to Red Bull in 14th, these sides are in the Sul Americana. Curitiba and Cuiabá are in the neutral zone. Sierra, Atletico Goianiense, Avaí and Juventude were condemned to Serie B. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the toughest, most exciting league in the world. It's almost over, but we'll be back one more time with the end of season finale. Just make sure you don't miss that.